Hi, it's Karen with RT Systems. Here to tell you a couple of things about the FTM 300 on the Mac. Mac has been doing a lot of things to enhance security and in doing that some features of the program are come and go. Believe me, when they go we work on them as quickly as we can to get them to come back. But this is one that you need to know about because with the FTM 300 if you don't have the SCU-20 from one of the previous radios, you're going to be using an SD card. And there's a little hiccup in the program. Not hard. Easily overcome. But we're going to start in Safari.com. And on our page, we have how-to videos. They're not all videos. Some are, some aren't. And right down here we have FTM 300 programming with SD card. And no, I'm not going to make you sit through a 10 minute video. I'm going to show you this is a static page that you can work through at your pace. But the whole process starts in the radio. Okay, Mounted in the radio, push certain buttons, do a backup right to SD, all. I know it's memory channels you're after, but the process needs all. Tell it OK and the radio does the rest. Then you take it to the programmer and you do read from SD card. This is not a file open process because the radio has written the file in radio language and we're now going to convert it to computer language so we can put it on the screen where you can understand it. You make all your manipulations. Make sure you put your call sign in the settings file. And then do write or communications write to SD card so that we can put it back in the language that the radio is going to understand. Not hard. The same basic process, we got to do a get data from first to identify the radio, and then we can put the files back. After you've done it once, you can then write to SD card anytime you want and put it back in the radio. I wanted you to know this was here. RTSystemsInc.com, how to videos. And there's all kinds of information out there. You may find it interesting. So let's go to the program. And now let me show you what the little hiccup is. Like I said, I've already done that part in the radio. I've inserted the SD card. And you can tell because it says no name. So we do communications, read data from SD card. It comes up with open. We go right up here at the top to Macintosh HD. Then we go down to volumes. Then we go to the S from SD card. It tells me exactly where it's reading from. It brings me the information that was on the radio. It brings me the settings, including the call sign. And I realize that's not a true call sign, but it will satisfy what the radio needs and what I need for testing. And now I'm ready at any time to do communications and write data to SD card. And it tells me where it's writing. Back to the same place. And once it finishes, I'm sure to eject the card. Then I can take it out and put it back in the radio and have my changes. I wanted you to know because we want it to be easy. We want you to enjoy your radios. I hope this helped. If you have questions, call. We'll be glad to walk you through it personally on your computer because they seem to all act differently. This is Karen, K0RTX. Hope this helped. We'll catch you next time. 73s.